Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Uh, we are back with another edition of uh, Quick Hits. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. Uh, we're going to be doing another show later today to break down some of the other boxing action. But today, this first episode completely dedicated to the dominating performance by Jamel Herring, uh, who stopped Carl Frampton in six rounds. Um, before we get into that... Um, it is April 3rd. April is uh, Autism Awareness Month. Um, I'm going to put a link in the video for TACA, uh, the uh, Autism Community in Action, T-A-C-A, TACA. Um, it will link for a, a donation to help uh, in the healing and recovery of uh, two autistic boys in, in Texas, Duke and Dax. Um, if you guys can share it, that'd be great. If there's something you can donate, if, if, if any, you know, uh, anyone at all donate, please, it's, it's a charitable it's, it's a good good charity and a, and a great cause, uh, but also something near and dear to Jamel Herring's heart is autism. Uh, but let's get into the fight. Um, Jamel Herring put on a masterclass performance. Um, when he beat Ito, I guess about two years ago now, to win his world title, that was a performance I didn't know he was capable of. This is next level stuff. This was a beautiful performance. Uh, for the first three rounds, he kept the distance, kept the range, out jabbed, out boxed, mixed in straight left hands, um, frustrated Frampton. In the fourth round, um, I still thought Herring got the better of it, um, but Frampton got on the inside um, and, and landed some work. Uh, he also you know, busted it open that eye again, very similar spot to where he had the uh, cut in the Okendo fight. Um, but. Um, Her Herring fought through that, and uh, Frampton was able to get in the inside. He landed some good shots in the fourth round. Um, seemed to get to Herring and affect him for the first time. And he was doing good work again in the fifth when he, bam, walked into a straight left. He got a little sloppy. I got a little overconfident, Frampton did, and uh, walked into something real big there in the fourth round. Um, in the fifth round, sorry, in the fifth round, um, which kind of put the fight out of reach. You know, he, he lost the first four rounds, two-point round in the fifth round, uh, and then he was buzzed. I don't know that he was ever 100% again. That was a perfect left hand from Herring. Frampton didn't look in good shape. Um, Herring didn't go for the kill right there. He, uh, he 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 didn't really step on it 100%. Um, I, I think he, he knows he had his guy buzzed, um, but he wasn't that badly hurt. Um, take us to the sixth round. Heron catches him with an uppercut, puts him down again. Perfect. This time unleashes a whirlwind of power shots and takes care of Frampton. His corner steps in and throws in the towel. Um, I, I guess that was the official ending, but, you know, the writing was on the wall. Uh, he was in real bad shape. Um, I'd have stopped it. I wouldn't have let it go on that long. Um, and that's it. Um, J Jamel Herring with a career-defining victory. He has a great win. Now, the Edo win was good. The Roach win was good. Uh, but this is a great win. Um, and now he's got something to hang his hat on. Um, so, you know, both, both guys are, you know, getting up there in years. Frampton, this is probably the end of the road for him. Two-division world champ. He won't get a title in the third. It's okay. He's had a borderline Hall of Fame career. This win probably would have put him in. Although he didn't get the win, he got dominated by Herring. Uh, and now Herring. Um, if, if, if Herring can put a couple defenses here, and, and you know, look, he, Herring's going to have a hard time getting a Hall of Fame career because he started so late. He lost two fights early in his career. Um, but he's got the names there, and we're going to get into that, right? Um, so, I mean, one of the next two fights are, are pretty obvious, right? It's going to be either um, Valdez or Shakur Stevenson. 
the fight I like for him is Shakur Stevenson. You got the Long Island kid in Herring against the Newark, New Jersey kid in Frampton. I'm sorry. And Shakur Stevenson. You got Shakur Stevenson from Newark, New Jersey. You got Herring from Long Island, New York. Let's meet in the middle uh, and do it at Madison Square Garden once boxing returns to New York. Um, and bang. We have a blockbuster fight, a can't-miss fight, high-level boxing at its best. But, look, Valdez is obviously somebody, too. Valdez is a name. Valdez is coming off a performance equally as good as Herring's. So, uh, that's a fight that's going to have a lot of a lot, you know, Two guys that people really kind of wrote off and said, okay, these are kind of overrated champions who just kind of got a belt, um, but they can't really beat the upper, upper top guys in the weight class. Well, they just did. Um, so I, I like both fights. I really, you know, I, I think the, the, the Shakur Stevenson fight has a little more sex appeal to it. Like, I, I like that fight. Uh, I think he could sell that better. I think it sells really well. I'm into the Shakur Stevenson fight, but either one is fine. Um, and I, I would take um, Herring to beat Valdez. I think he can sit there and outbox him, and I think he can keep the range, and I think he can sneak in left hands. Um, I, I, I think, you know, he's clicking right now. That was a masterclass performance by Herring. The Shakur Stevenson fight, boy, you're going to have to outbox Shakur Stevenson. Boy, <laughs> I don't know about that. That's going to be real difficult. That's going to be a real tough thing to do. Uh, I'd probably take Shakur Stevenson in that. But um, speaking of masterclass boxing, uh, Keyshawn Davis in that undercard, man. Ooh, that guy is good, man. That guy is something to behold right there. Uh, he's got all, he's two fights into his career. He beat a, a tough Ghanaian fighter who was ten and one with nine knockouts. I got him to shell up and just unleashed on him. That was a real good performance. Also, Donnie Nietes, um, Donnie Nietes uh, was on the card and, and looked really good. Um, so it was a, it was a fun card, capped off by a fun fight. Even though you know Frampton got dominated and he did, uh, he literally lost every round with one two point round on my card. He never seemed out of the fight until that sixth round when that second knockout. I was like, okay, this is over. Uh, but even, you know, he, he seemed, he, he fought to the end. Uh, he, he was tough. He was classy. And then he was classy in defeat. Yo, uh, Vasily Lomachenko, Deontay Wilder should take a lesson on how to be a class act when you lose from Frampton. Um, no excuses, he said. I lost to the better man. We had a great camp and we just lost. You know, why is that so different? Uh, but hats off to Jamel Herring. Uh, best performance of his career. One of the best performances of the year, if not the best performance of the year. I mean, just a complete performance. Couldn't have done any better. Um, it's right up there with Valdez's performance. It's right up there with Virgil Ortiz's performance against Hooker just two weeks ago. It was that good of a performance. He was incredible. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see where he goes next. He's also talking about going to 135, um, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Hit the uh, thumbs up button. Uh, like and subscribe. Share on all forms. Um, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. We'll be back with another show later today. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to be on, um, but we'll get into that. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.